Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at the IVAC, which is kind of an egg-shaped alien spaceship looking thing that maybe Mork from Ork would have landed in, but it's actually a touchless stationary vacuum. It functions more like a high-tech dustpan, but let's see how it really works in today's video. All right, so I paid $114 for this direct from the website and arrived in two days, so the shipping was pretty good on that. There are several models available, but this is the most popular of the bunch. All you have to do to use the IVAC is to sweep up your debris up next to it. Its infrared sensors will pick up the debris and suck them into the vacuum. There's a 1.4 gallon canister that you can empty when it's full. It's supposedly good for all kinds of different debris that you would sweep up like pet hair, kitty litter, crumbs, and more. It seems to be pretty highly rated on Amazon, but after my fiasco with a highly rated toaster on there, I'm kind of suspicious about highly rated reviews on Amazon in general. So let's take a look at the IVAC and see how it works. All right, let's take a look at the panel here. The panel only has three indicators, auto, manual, full. When you turn it on, it defaults to auto, but you can switch over to manual by hitting the power button twice. And this is how you activate it with this button here. This indicator is when the canister is full and needs to be emptied. The Amazon page says it's one pound, but this is not one pound. This is seven and a half pounds according to my scale. Turning it around, here is the front canister. You just pull this out. You have one filter here. On the front of the unit, there's a tag here that says that the sensor detects debris with light sensitivity. Performance may diminish with black or dark bristles or low light conditions. So the way it works is you sweep your debris up to here, the sensors pick it up, and it's sucked into, the, into that hole right there. And into here, which is where your canister's at. The cord is about, oh, maybe five feet long. This canister holds uh, about 1.4 gallons of debris. All right, let's turn this thing on now. What? Well, it's, it's already chaos, I didn't I haven't used it yet. Wasn't off to a good start, but that was just a fluke, I'm sure. All right, I've got three different brooms here. We got the broom. This is just a standard Amazon broom over here, and I got the Furwell, this kind of rubber type broom as well. It's, uh, all of them have dark bristles. That's kind of, I mean, most, I guess most brooms have dark bristles, at least the ones I've used. Let's try these three brooms with some different stuff and see how it works. Every pet owner has this to sweep up once in a while about some dog kibble. See how close I have to get before it kicks in. Oh, there it goes. Oh yeah. Oh, that runs for about maybe 10, 15 seconds and it got most of it. Not all of it, most of it. Let's just kind of move that around. Whoops. There it goes. How about something a little finer like some uh, kitty litter? That was, that was more than I wanted to put on the floor. Oh, so far, so good. There's a little bit down there still. I'm just thinking about that. All right, next up we got some dog hair that Bailey so generously donated for this video. Let me try this out with the, uh, pair it with the Furwell. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. That was, that was pretty cool, actually. All right, so this is just some dirt and some rocks that I got outside, so this should be a good test for it. This is kind of thing you track inside. Let's see what happens. Let me move this out of the way and see how much got left behind. It looks like a little bit of the kitty litter did not get picked up but everything else seemed like they did, so pretty good. Test one, I think, worked quite well. Let me go back to the other house, try it on a different floor, see how it works there. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is go over to the other place, try a different type of floor, a few different types of messes. I should also point out that I did play with the IVAC a little bit after I turned the cameras off, and I did get that little bit of kitty litter up. It really wasn't that big of a problem. I really just kind of kind of smashed it in there with the end of the broom. And I was starting to notice that different colored bristles maybe does make a difference. So I'm gonna try that a little bit more over at the other house. So let's go over there and see what else we can come up with. So it seems like the color of the bristles does matter. Check it out. Here's some lighter bristles. Let's see how close I can get before it activates. That was a couple of inches. Now let's try some dark bristles. That's getting closer. Much closer. Oh, look at that. 
Only about one inch, so it, do, it does need to be a lot closer when it's a dark bristle. Next up, let's try some coffee grounds. Oops. I find it kind of helpful to kind of jam it, jam it in there and it helps pick up the stuff that gets left behind. How about some crumbs? Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's not picking up the, the broom. Look at it. Not picking it up. It is not picking it up. Wow. Try a different broom. I'm just curious what will happen if you try to get a large item to go up into that small opening. Probably not a good idea, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Yeah, that, that wasn't a good idea. Oh no! Ooh. I've noticed when you take the canister out, it does turn off. It goes off. Let's empty this out and see how it goes. All you're really supposed to do is just lift this completely out. Filter's working. Mmm, coffee and dog hair. And a few Ritz crackers, some bread. It's time for lunch. We're ready to go again. So in the end, I would say the IVAC is not a perfect product. Sometimes it leaves a little bit of debris below it. Sometimes it doesn't pick up the dark bristles. But on the other hand, those problems are pretty minor to how well it works. It works exactly like I expected to right out of the box. $114 seems steep, but to me, I'm pretty happy with it and I'm gonna keep using it. If you've used the IVAC, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.